Hello everyone, the customer credit limit and the credit days app helps you to set a credit limit and credit days for the customers based on the credits and based on the customer's due amount or a credit days approval can be raised by the user and the same can be approved or rejected by the manager. Also, user will get an email notification for the invoice approval and the rejections. Now, let's give an access rights for the user for an invoice approval. So for that, we need to get into the settings. Under user and companies, we can see the users. Let me get into the Mitchell admin here. Under the user configurations, user can give an access rights for the invoice approval as a user and also a an manager. Now, after giving an access rights, manager can set a specific customer credits. So for that, let me get into the customer to set and customer credits. So at first, let's save this one. To getting into the customer, we need to get into the sales. Under orders, we can see and customers. Let me get into that. So from here, let me get into the customer which are already created. So in the customer form, under sales and purchase tab, only manager can set and credit limit as well as the credit days right away here for each and every customers. Okay. Now after completing this, let's create an invoice with the customer whom given and credit limit and credit days. So for creating an invoice, we need to get into the invoice. Let's create a new invoice. From here, we need to choose and customer. It will automatically show and credit limit as well as the credit days. Okay. And let's choose a product. Let's choose and on more again. User can create an invoice with the customer whom credit limit and credit days are given and click on the confirm option which is available here. If user tries to confirm customer invoice which amount is exceeding the credit limit state can be changed to waiting for an approval state. Now we can see those approval invoices in the separate menu. Under customers, we can see an approval invoices. We need to get into that. Okay. Manager can view those invoices which are in the waiting for an approval state. So let me get into the invoice which I have created now. So we can see it is in the state of waiting for an approval. So only manager can approve or reject the invoice. When user click on the approve button, which is available here, the invoice should be moved and approved and also it will be moved to the posted state. And after approval invoice by the manager, user can see those invoice will be posted automatically. And also at the same time, email notifications for the invoice approval will be sent to the user. And also, we can see the history of it in the emails. So in the emails, let me refresh this page. So from here, user can see an approval email will be right away here with the content of it. Like the same way, let's create an another invoice. Okay. Let's create a new one with the same customer. And also from here, I'm going to select a product. Let's select a due date. That is invoice date as well as the due date. Okay. Due date will be an uh, one okay if the current um current date is greater than the sum of the credit days and the least due date by comparing all the invoices that are related to this customer the stage will be automatically changes to the waiting for an approval state if we have confirmed this order okay you can see right away here and we can see all the waiting approvals in that uh, approval menu okay let me get into that only manager can approve or reject the invoices. When user will click on the reject button, which is available here, after rejected invoice by the manager, the user can see those invoice should be in the cancelled. And also we can see in the same email notifications for a rejection as well. So let me get into the emails and see and rejected email. Okay. So from here, user can see and rejected email has been sent to the customer with the content of it. In this way, we can make use of these modules to set and credit limit and credit days for the customers. Thank you for watching.